है गाइज वाम वेलकम टू अवर थर्ड वीडियो ऑफ द स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी ए सीरीज वी विल डिस्कस इन दिस लेक्चर और वीडियो इंट्रैक्शन बिटवीन इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक रेडिएशन एंड मॉलिक्यूल जस्ट विजुअलाइज और एग्जामल्स इन योर माइंड डैट यू हैव अ सैम्पल एंड इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक रेडिएशन which are will be different form uv rays uh, micro rays uh, uv visible rays infrared rays are bombarded on that sample then what will changes will uh, uh, take place first one uh, uh, we have discussed that its electron from ground state will moved to uh, excited state the second one that uh, when uh, lesser energy or the uh, electromagnetic radiation that have low energy are provided to that sample then what will be the result the energy is not enough the energy is not enough that um, uh, electron absorbed it and moved from a ground state to excited state then what will be happen happen is that electrons cannot goes uh, will goes to excited state only a vibration of bonds uh, or vibration of electrons take place electron will vibrate as we have seen that when we have phone on vibration mode then electro uh, phone our only vibrate so this is a concept uh, i will read from this and hope so you will go to something from it if a beam of electromagnetic radiation is directed on the molecule laying in the energy level e0 it will absorb energy and jump to higher energy level ground state to excited state even according to the quantum theory the energy content of the molecule cannot change continuous but is confined to certain discrete value energy levels if we use a beam of radiation containing a wide range of frequency the molecule will absorb only that radiation whose frequency v is related to the energy difference delhi b between the two energy levels by the equations what is saying uh, if uh, i read uh, it again if we use a beam of radiation containing a wide range of frequency the molecule will absorb only that radiation whose frequency v is related to the energy difference del e between the two energy level by equation as a uh, uh, result the intensity of the absorbed radiation will decrease while all the other frequencies remaining unabsorbed and hence their intensity hence their intensity undiminished measurement of amount of radiation absorbed by a substance at various wavelengths is called spectroscopy and absorption sp uh, spectrum is also known so this was the initially topic that uh, deal with the interactions uh, between electromagnetic radiation and molecules thanks for watching